First, we're going to begin with that breaking news. Another explosion in Austin, Texas, the fourth in less than three weeks. Federal investigators are on the scene this morning, and residents have been told to stay in their homes. The police chief says the four incidents may be connected. ABC's Marcus Moore is there in Austin for us. Good morning, Marcus. Robin, good morning. Austin truly is a city on edge this morning as investigators have been waiting for daylight to begin the process of trying to find evidence after a fourth explosion overnight. They said it was too dangerous to do that work in the dark. This morning, there's a loud explosion on scene. Federal agents and police sweeping this neighborhood in Austin, Texas, after a fourth explosion rocked a home in less than 20 days. We need to lock down a, like I said, two block perimeter. There's a nail in the wound of one of the subjects. Authorities responding to a blast potentially caused by a trip wire. The detonation injuring two men in their 20s, both rushed to an area hospital. We walked out and we just hear so many sirens. Overnight, police extending a lockdown until 10 a.m., urging residents within a mile and a half radius to stay in their homes. Even school buses not allowed into the affected area. We now need the community to have an extra level of vigilance and pay attention to any suspicious device. It's a real situation now. It's not, you know, oh, don't touch any packages. It's like, no, seriously, like if you see anything weird and, you know, stressing it to your children. This latest incident comes 17 days after the first reported explosion, just a few miles away. Police have now followed up on more than 700 phone calls about suspicious packages in the Austin area. Authorities are investigating whether last night's attack was a response to this press briefing. That there has been an increase in the reward. The blast triggered just six and a half hours after the Austin Police Department offered a $115,000 reward for any tip leading to an arrest of a suspect. We need that tip and you may have the one piece of information that lets us put this all together. Austin Police say bombings, which killed two people and have now injured four others, quote, were meant to send a message. The packages used in these attacks were designed to look innocent, unassuming. ABC News learning the bombs were built using nuts, bolts, nails, and metal pieces as shrapnel. Investigators believe the suspect is highly skilled since he was able to move the packages without detonating them. And what's changed the dynamic this morning is we are now talking about the possibility of residents here coming across a tripwire, which the police chief said shows a higher level of sophistication compared to the previous devices. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.